How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this 2K24 video I'm going to be testing out a three level threat center build. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now you're probably thinking already that uh, my interior defense and my blocking attribute is pretty low for a center and you're absolutely correct. I wanted to focus mainly on an offensive type of stretch build, a player that I could use as like a pick and pop um, instead of a pick and roll. However, this guy will also get some pretty good dunk animations. Uh, the Shaquille O'Neal dunk package is a 90 standing dunk and a 55 driving dunk. So that is mainly why I chose to uh, put the attributes at that specific threshold. And then uh, the three point rating is still pretty good at an 86 overall. I think that is uh, all you really need if you want to shoot wide open shots. If you want to be um, more of a consistent three point shooter, I think you want a three pointer uh, between you know 94 and 98. Somewhere in there, I've noticed a lot of people are talking about a recent patch in the game. This is uh, all gameplay before the recent patch where they kind of did buff some stuff to, I guess, the shooting. I haven't really tried it out yet, but I have been having a, a good amount of fun with this game. And uh, you are going to see mainly offensive gameplay in this particular video. I'm going to show some defensive clips, um, but my, my center does only have a bronze anchor. And bronze anchor is uh, kind of the ability to defend the paint. So typically you would think like, okay, this guy must be getting dunked on every single play. Not really because he does have 84 strength, so that does help. Um, but most centers are going to have more than that. Um, typically the centers that give me the most trouble in this game are uh, similar players to my style to where they have maybe a little bit more ball handling. They're playing around the perimeter. My perimeter defense is really non-existent. Um, and it's really tough to guard some of these centers unless you have you know maybe like challenger or some type of perimeter defensive badge uh, because you can shoot over these guys right the seven footers can shoot kind of over pretty much everybody and you're going to see that a few times in this gameplay um, you're going to see a couple times like in this one where the opponent wasn't really playing any defense but i think it kind of showcases the fact that you are able to consistently hit open shots if you're wondering what type of jump shot i'm using i'm using a combination of kevin durant's base we also have uh, Tim Duncan's release as well as the Marcus Aldridge release. Uh, those three players kind of give you the most consistent timing on your jump shot. Um, all the, the attributes are, I guess, the grades for each particular part of the jump shot would be at an A or a B plus. Um, with that being said, you want to blend it however uh, you like. But uh, for me, I pressing the button for a little bit of time. I don't like a super quick shot. I can't really hit that consistently. And I don't want to hold the button for too long uh, because I'm not consistent with that either. Uh, but here in this one, we put up 40 points. We're going to hit this mid-range jump shot. And right in the face of that guard, I think that might have even been a small forward. Um, with some perimeter defense, so you can kind of get a glimpse there. And I didn't show too many defensive gameplays or clips, um, but you are going to see that bronze anchor badge light up a few times. I'm not really going to get too many blocks with this guy, with this particular build, um, but we are going to get the rebounds with gold rebound chaser. We are going to be able to pass across the court. Um, 77 pass accuracy is pretty good. I think that's good enough. We're going to get some pretty decent dunk animations, but I, I don't really drive the paint too much. Here, I really shouldn't have jumped at all, mainly with this guy. I'm holding L2, I'm pressing up on the right stick, just trying to build a wall, basically, so that the guy has to either dunk it on top of me, uh, which does happen sometimes, but mainly they are going to get those layup animations where I'm still contesting the jump shot or the layup. Sometimes the smaller guards with pretty good driving layup and using the floater, uh, sometimes that kind of gives me a little bit of trouble, but... Um, typically, I'm not really trying to block too many shots. I've gotten a few blocks where, you know, I'm able to grab the ball straight from the other person's hand and then just kick it out on a fast break. Um, but I did want to kind of showcase what this player can do. I got pretty close to a triple-double in this particular gameplay. Um, a couple times I've had, you know, um, some really good scoring games, better rebounding games. Some games I didn't really shoot that well to start and then kind of turn it around. Um, with the shooting badge in terms of the sharp shooting takeover uh, other times you know i'm starting off hot and then i kind of go a little bit cold throughout the game have to kind of adjust exactly how i'm approaching the game um, sometimes you know i'm going in for some more post moves or i'm trying to activate some of those low post score moves rather than you know the post fade or um, hit them with the drop step type of thing 
and uh, try and you know mix it up because I do like this game. I'm trying to learn as much about it as possible. I am uh, currently trying to learn more about the dribble moves in the game. That's kind of the one area where I don't know anything about it and I am trying to expand in terms of my content on my YouTube channel. I have only uploaded one other 2K video and that video did pretty well actually for uh, first one, never uploading it, anything like this before. Uh, so I appreciate that and I wanted to you know, kind of make another one, focus on my other player that I was talking about in that video. And I'm also on break right now from work so I am kind of excited to relax a little bit, have a little vacation, play some games, and I should be uh, uploading some more videos here throughout this week. Uh, but with that being said, uh, so far, you know, I, you are kind of seeing me evolve with this player a little bit. Uh, right now, you know, I'm at a 98 overall. I'm approaching that 99 overall. But throughout this gameplay, you know, my guy's at like a 94. He's at a 95. Some games he's at a 96. I, I really was careful about how I upgraded this particular player because I wanted to make sure I get all of the badges that I'm using, right? If you notice, the badges are lighting up. Uh, here we're hitting the first four threes in the game. We're getting that green machine. We're getting the blinders. I'm trying to build some of those badges. I do have some of those badges on gold now. Um, but this particular player gets some pretty good badges on Hall of Fame, some shooting badges on Hall of Fame because of the mid-range shot. Uh, you're no you're going to notice that I'm not really using the mid-range as probably as much as I should. Um, that's the one thing I need to work on a little bit more with this particular player is kind of using that mini magician, getting that mini magician up a little bit, maybe going into the theater and just practicing, you know, shooting some uh, pull up jumpers and some hop step jumpers out of the post move, just little things like that. Um, here we're hitting with the post fade phenom. I, I do use that every once in a while, but the main reason why I put the post control on this particular guy is to get the unpluckable. You can see it activate right there. The unpluckable on at least silver is good for this big man because I don't have any ball control, any ball handling on this particular guy, right? 55 ball control with 50 speed with ball. I mean, you are able to drive a little bit with this particular player, but I'm relying on my teammates to kind of pass me the ball when I'm cutting, pass me the ball when I'm open. It doesn't always work, right? But I also have to think like if I'm in a game with random people, and they're not passing the ball well then there's a good chance we're going to lose anyway if i'm in a game against you know a diamond paint beast that's able to dunk on me every single time uh well then i'm probably not going to win that game even if i had you know 99 interior defense 99 block there's a good chance that uh, there's better players out there than i am right there's a, a better skillful center going up against me i'm going to have to figure out how can i uh contribute to the team and hope that the guards can do something right uh, basketball is definitely this game is unrealistic in terms of what you can do um, there's not really any plays called right you're kind of just freestyling out there um, but I'm having a good time with it I'm having fun with it I am able to shoot a little bit with this center it does make the game fun when you can do it all when you have a player that can do it all including get the rebounds and it just seemed like I was able to upgrade this player a little bit faster with the more my team points never played one my career game with this particular guy. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and until next time, peace out.